Let's do this. I don't know what the strat's really gonna be. Do I have any boost? Because if I do, this is the time. Oh, I do. I should have been using these. We'll just activate all our boosts, pretty much. I didn't even know I had these, to be completely honest. 30% boost? Yeah, why not? So we're gonna see how many lives this takes. Let's use Gwenpool first, just because... Yeah. Is your Corvus ramped up? Yeah, he has like two or three charges. I think he has three. I, I forgot he has tenacity. That's great. I thought this guy got his tenacity, uh, tenacity like later in the phases, but I guess not. Might as well read his shit. Okay. Um. Yeah, I don't know. This is going to be fun. I have not fought the collector in a long time, so I'm ready to fucking meet my maker. So let's do this. If we can get off like 10% every time with Corvus, it should be a good run. So I need to bait out a heavy here. I need to definitely time Banes. I need to not let him throw anything. Alright. That was death. <laughs> Watch out for regen. Yeah, it's not really my choice when he regens, but... I guess. We got 30k uh, off that run. So Corvus is probably going to be the way to go. But it's definitely going to get harder, I know. I just went for the Hail Mary. Oh, shit. Yep, you missed time. The fucking thing. It's unreal. Hey, how they just made this a unit spending fight instead of making it fun like the champion boss and Cavalier or the Grandmaster? Yeah, the champion boss in 6.2 wasn't even like a bullshit fight. It was pretty much just skill, but people didn't like that. But I thought it was a good fight, even though it made me cry at times. I thought it was still a good fight. This regen is unreal, dude. It's not fun. I don't know. Like, you literally can't one shot this fight unless you have like very specific high ranked five stars, like Tiger or something. Okay, I can full dodge the special. What just happened? Can you hit through phase? Hold on. Did I like move or something? I need to watch that back. It just killed me. I don't even know. I thought it was phasing. I don't even know. That was weird. Alright, now we start reviving Corvus. So yeah, let's do this. We already have four revives, but we're probably going to need to buy more. Trying to bait out a heavy. It's not throwing it. Okay, there you go. Let's get some damage in. Let's throw this. One tick of Bane does fucking 25% of my dude's health. It's gonna be like the it's gonna be like the Grandmaster fight and um we're well not Grandmaster, it's gonna be like the fight and um Abyss, except this is going a lot better than I thought it was going to be. You didn't phase with the F how? Panda, he lowers the ability accuracy. Yeah, I figured there's some bullshit like that. I might have moved though, I couldn't tell. I, all I know is this is going a lot better than I thought it was going to be, but I'm pretty sure it's bullshit it starts like in the later phases. I remember this fight being a lot worse. Screaming Hawk, let's go. Yeah, man, let's do this shit. Uh, when, I, when I, on like my main account when I was doing this fight, it was with a rank 4 Sig 99 um, Daredevil, like it's a 4 star, so I was fully evading this special sometimes, as long as the ability actually didn't fuck me, and um, yeah, it was a struggle, because Daredevil did not hit that hard, but I did not really have any better characters. Okay, probably just going to do 5 hit combos, because it's not like I need to like savor my charges or anything, so yeah. Bait out a heavy, please. Yes, we got some nice damage in, boys. Alright, we done. This is going really well, actually. <laughs> a lot better than I thought it was. Corvus is. Uh, I was gonna build. I was gonna try to farm a lot of units before doing this, but I didn't realize like how good Corvus was just because of that guaranteed damage. I also took him to rank four yesterday. Once I got the once the things came in the store. If I actually don't have to dip into the unit stash, other than that team revive, and that'll be very nice. Alright, there we go. 
That was um anticlimactic, <laughs> but he's down. I was I didn't do that fight for so long because I thought it was gonna be so much worse. But when you have a Corvus, it's really not that bad because he's just a guaranteed damage. What can I open? I can open a four star crystal. I use Aegon on my mini. Yeah. Yeah, I don't care about that either. Well, that was easier than I thought. Let's open a let's open a crystal, I guess. I guess the best pull is Guillotine twenty ninety nine. <laughs> or like Wasp, but those are the top two pretty much. Guillotine twenty ninety nine or Wasp. That was very useless. Is it a dupe though? Do I get ISO? No, useless. I. Well, I really don't know what else to um do now. That was a lot faster than I thought it was gonna be. I'm gonna start recording. We are at this Mysterio. We are at the final boss. You guys have been talking to me, distracting me. So I've just been going through these paths without thinking really. And yeah, we're at the final boss. And yeah, this is the last fight before we get our six star shards and we do the six star opening. Let's get a poison. We're about to start hitting like a motherfucking truck. Look at that. Look at that damage. Okay, he's dead. We got the six star crystal now. Poise, the first six star of the free to play account. Very exciting shit. Let's see. We can also open some Grandmaster crystals. Um, act rewards. Look at that. We have enough now. Very sexy indeed. Let's just open all this shit first. We also we have a million gold. Ooh, look at that gold. That is very nice, dude. Okay, so let's just buy the epoch crystals. Did you counteract random evades and abyss besides Aegon? Oh, I just used Aegon. I don't know, dude. Aegon counters it, so I wouldn't be too worried. Um, okay. Now nah, let's see. Wait, this is the 2018 one, right? I'm gonna go for the 2018 one because if I can get Aegon as a five star, I can awaken him, and that would be very clutch. I'm just gonna pop these real quick because the odds on Grandmaster are bad. So I'm just gonna pop them. They'll get a six star opening. Five star Aegon, please. <gasps> we got a five star void. That's so good. I can't awaken him, but that's very good. We also got three star Aegon. Okay. Um, where's Void? Alright, got him. We got a 5 star, but that is very good. Well, that mojo is definitely worth it. Got lucky. If, if that was a 5 star Aegon, that would have been OP. I could have awakened him with my Awakening Gem. I can't awaken. I do not have a way to awaken Void, but it's still a good pull for eventually I can. Rank him up. Okay, so. Look, okay, we're going to look at the 6 stars just for a second, just to go over what we want. Science? Number one pull, Human Torch or Cat Beardo. Those are the two pulls we want. Skill, Hit Monkey is the best, probably. Um, yeah, probably. Mutant, we want Magneto the most. Then Colossus. Cosmic, just Corvus. Tech, actually, is Cosmic Ghost Rider in the basic? No, he's not. Tech, we want Guillotine 2099 or Warlock, not Ghost. And then Mystic, Doctor Doom or Black Widow. Okay, guys, if we can continue that five-star void luck into the six-star, this will be insane. First six-star on the free-to-play account, guys. Oh, this is so scary. I'm seeing very bad characters in the pool. This is a very bad randomly generated pool. I saw, I saw Human Torch, though, so that's good. <sighs> I'm very scared, please. <laughs> very scared. Okay, we're going to stop it. It's not a new character, so let's see who is this. No, it's so bad. I thought we were gonna get Phoenix, dude. Such a shit pull. Taskmaster's ass, bro. He's so bad, and he needs to be awakened to be good. Even this is history. This is some bad fucking history, dude. Taskmaster's ass. I guess I'm gonna have a chance to use this character. We at least got five star void, so that is kind of worth the struggle. Um. Yeah. Definitely not the best pull. At least he hits hard just because he's a six star. So there's just that. But it, he does need to be awakened. So without his awakening ability, he's kind of useless. Actually, does, is he useless? Actually, no, I think he's not useless. Wait, let me see something real quick. Actually, hold on. If he can still do his decent damage phase. Just without the utility, I'm fine. If he doesn't have utility, 
I just want to see if he can do the damage. Like, the bonus damage from his weakness. So, let's take out, like, Ghost. Let's see this. You shouldn't have opened that void. The luck was taken out of the six star. Yeah, you know, you know, Testament is not the best, but if I can still do the nice damage phase from exploiting weaknesses, then because I know his damage isn't that bad. So if if you do him the right way, so let's just see if I can do it the right way. Just a test real quick. Okay. Okay, you got a heavy. That's kind of okay. We can phase. That's really good. Oh no, we can't do the damage phase. The damage is what makes him so good, dude. Dude, if we can get him awakened, he honestly isn't even a bad character. I got Void though, so I'm not gonna complain. But if I get this guy awakened, he's actually good. Like, I can actually do some massive damage with this guy if I get him awakened and I play him the right way. So yeah, whatever. We got Taskmaster, he's kind of useless right now for us, but... Whatever, dude. Eh, whatever. He's probably not going to get ranked up or leveled up. Honestly, I think the champion would have been better just because he has decent damage. But, um, yeah, we got Void. So, yeah, if I could find a way to awaken Void, that's pretty much the next goal. So, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.